everyone, and welcome to Bonus Contra. This is the real deal. This is what we've all been waiting for. We so said we, we were going to get some manly ass food, and uh, we did. Uh, the reason Gerard is in a little bit of a state of. I fucked up. Is because Ugh. these are Japanese shishito peppers. And the thing about them is every once in a while you'll run into one that's like super spicy. <gasps> and so that's just going to happen from time to time, possibly during this. Um, I feel like I'm doing hot pepper gaming. Yeah. But uh, oh. before we get into our Contra trivia, uh, just for everyone's benefit. This is not a brand deal. Yeah, it's not it's a brand just deal. just information. It's just, yeah. What are you eating? What yeah. manly food are you eating? I got a burger called the Cash. Uh huh. And it's, I mean, you, you just get a basic rundown. It's got like bacon on it. It's a, it's like a bagolgi burger essentially. Well, mine's bagolgi. Oh, yours is. Yeah. Okay. Yours so, is like bacon. I got bacon built inside of the meat yeah. as well as the outside. I have American and cheddar both. You have on like here. a basically like a like an Asian onion ring on yours. Yeah, I have an Asian onion ring, um, covered in Korean aioli as yeah. well as barbecue sauce. Yeah. Poison um, barbecue sauce, yeah. which is like plum sauce. Yeah. I also uh, got Parmesan cheese fries, um, but Everybody ate everyone them. ate them before we could yeah, film this. It was too so good. They have truffle oil on them. What are you going to do? I'm eating the left of them. I got the bull. It's a bulgogi burger with kimchi on it. Get the bull. Me. Bull. Yeah. So, I'm going to just tuck in. Yeah. I'm going to tuck into this burger real quick. Hashtag uh, suspension on the Fit Boys today. Yeah. Super, super, super manly bros. Super treat bros. Been a long day. It was good for us. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey Gerard. Yeah. Did you know that Contra 3 has been released four complete t different times? Oh yeah? Yeah. Once on the Super Nintendo. Okay. Once on the Game Boy Advance. Okay. Once on the Wii. Once on the Wii U. How about that? It's pretty tight. Contra 3 is my favorite, so I'm down for that. Your favorite Contra. Yeah. It's not one of my favorite games. Did you know that the North American and PAL versions of Contra 3 don't have the Konami code built into them? That I didn't know. Was that much to your dismay when you tried to complete it? <sighs> oh yeah. So I hope my burger is not cold. It's not like cold. Holy shit. So good, right? Oh my god. It's incredible. Did you know that in Japan, uh, there's a version of Contra 3 called Contra Spirits? That's the name of it in Japan. This sounds all familiar. <laughs> I'm literally pulling this from Super Trivia Bros. Contra 3 from like two years ago. Really? Yeah. You remember that we did that? I remember that, but that means that none of the stuff you're telling me is new. You want some new stuff? Yeah. Did, did you, know you know that this fucking burger is incredible? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is a place called the Standing Room. It's like pretty close by here. It's really good. I don't know. We were like, we want like some manly meats. And they gave us some. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's incredible. It's incredible. It's the best burger I've ever had. So I don't know if we talked about this on the show or what, but the European version of this game was of the original Contra was censored <laughs> because they had an issue with ju just dudes like shooting other dudes all the time. What did what they censor it to? The aliens? They made everybody robot. Ah. Richard did say that. Um. Okay. Uh. I guess the first few games actually were called. In Europe, Probotector. In in Contra Probotector. No, just called Probotector, like protector, but like Robo Protector. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what they named the game that had like all the robots in it. Does that make sense? No. Oh my God! Look at all that cheese. Look at all that cheese. Wow. Like Robot Protector, because in the game where they made everybody robots, that's what it's called. Instead of Contra, it's Probotector. And then on computers, it's Grizor. Grizor sounds familiar. <coughs> uh, there was a law in Germany that prevented you from advertising violent games to kids, including anything that glorifies war. So they did that for all the games up to Contra Legacy of War. Now, which one's that one? 
I've never heard of Contra Legacy of War. Neither have I. I'm gonna see what the deal is. Also, for everyone at home that says we're slobs, that's just the big, that's the thing of being a big dude. When you get messy, it goes all over your face, it stays there till you're done eating. It's not like we're gonna not wash our face. Right. You know how it is. I guess Contra Legacy of War is a PlayStation 1 game. Developed by Appaloosa. Who the hell is that? Appaloosa? Oh. Let's find out! Hey, Gerard. Mm. This was a good idea. Yeah, it really was. I wonder how hard it would be to just become food YouTubers. Pretty hard. Really? Like, do it right and successfully. Appaloosa Interactive. They made the adventures of Batman and Robin, but for the Game Gear. <laughs> they made Castlevania, but for the Amiga. They made a lot of games. They made California games, except for the Mega Drive. Sounds like <clears throat> they've made a lot for everything that's not a main console. Oh, they made Echo the Dolphin. They made Echo the Dolphin? Echo the Dolphin. The original? Yeah, and the Sega Genesis Exo Squad game, which I love. Okay, yeah. Remember Exo Squad? Yeah. It's kind of like an entire series built around that suit that There's a fan that sent that to you. What? You said that on Beer Bros. You loved it, and they sent us a copy of it. Yeah, yeah, I got that. You have it. Yeah. <sighs> I just... It's like a, like a whole series based off the, like, last fight of Aliens. Yo. It's like not quite a mech. That burger was incredibly humbling. You crushed that burger. Crushed it. I feel great. It was incredible. They made Jaws Unleashed. Also. Jaws the Caddy. Did you know that game is actually super good? Like, it's like super fun. Debatable. Very debatable. Your idea of fun is not the same as mine. They Ooh. made Karateka. They made King's Quest V for NES. Power Rangers? Oh no, like some educational Power Rangers. Uh, wacky Races for PC? What? Tiny Toon Adventures Cartoon Workshop. Alright. What else do we want to know about Contra? I'm in the zone. Well, we know that it's basically a rip of Alien. Right. Basically, like it's the not, Aliens franchise, rather. I mean, like I don't really know how to describe it, right? Like the alien monster, like definitely looks kind of like an alien. It's not confirmed. I mean, like if you look at it, it just looks like alien. Like sure. it has the mouth and everything. Um, but then if you look at the cover of the game. That's actually kind of like retraced art from uh, Predator. Chris, show that on screen so we can see it. Show the show the actual cartridge and then show the actual image from Predator because they're like the same. Yeah. So what else you got for me, Alex? Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The original Contra and Super Contra are set in the 27th century. And uh, well, I have a question then. Yeah. So if they're set in the 27th century, why do our characters look like 20th century Fox heroes? What do you mean 20th century Fox? Like, they look like Rambo and John McClane and... You know, I have actually... Schwarzenegger. I have actually no idea, but in the US NES version of the game, it actually moved the game's plot into the present day. <laughs> uh, so, so that they changed it somewhat... makes it somewhat sensical. So they changed Bill and Lance to Mad Dog and Scorpion, but it was Scorpion, like, with Scorpion, with an A. I don't know why that's a thing. Scorpion. And then instead of being on the Galuga Archipelago, which is where it's normally set, it just, like, they sent it to the Amazon. Okay. The Amazons. So, but overall, though, <clears throat> in terms of of uh, Konami and their shitty involvement in games, okay. Well, um, oh, they weren't always bad. Right. Back in the uh, day of Contra and Castlevania, 
Right, so remember when we played Castlevania, we st we figured out that the credits of Castlevania are like all fake. Are all fake. That's not the case with with Contra, right? They're real people. They they figured it out at that point that it didn't really matter. I think that back in the days of Castlevania, the reason that they would do that was before getting poached. Yeah, they just didn't want anybody to like know who to call. Yeah, they didn't want to call Ghostbusters, so they said, "Fuck it, you know, we'll call these guys." <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I can find here. Oh boy, these peppers, dudes. They are humbling. Sometimes today's keyword humbling. is hum hum humble. Humble humble humble. Hum hum humble. Humma humma humble. humble. Kazuki Muraoka is the composer. Yo. Koji Koji Hold Hiroshida. Up. I'm gonna stop you for a second. Just to show the world. Sausages. There's sausages in the peppers. There's sausages in the peppers, but it's like all Asian. It's so good. Alright, so let's see. Koji Hiroshida is the director of Contra, the original game. Okay. Where's he at now? Um... Fuck it, beer bros, call him up. Oh, this is like not a complete... This is not a complete thing. I guess he worked like far into the 2000s. Ajax, Crazy Cop, Crime Fighters 2, Gangbusters, Hard Puncher, Megazone, Super Contra. These are all Konami games? Uh, you all sound made up. Yeah, they're all Konami games. Crazy Cop. What is that? Crazy Cop. You just, like, run around with a, as a good dude with green hair and shoot at people. From the top down. I mean, to be fair, the title's Crazy Cop. Right, Like, but, like, you think he's just, like, a clown cop? <laughs> like, he's, like, a cop that's just, like, I'm gonna be the Joker today. This is a great meal. This meal is making me happy, boys. Oh, man. <clears throat> Let me tell you, I wasn't feeling too good today. And then this food showed up, and I'm already, like... Waking up. I'm making an Eminem song right now. Rising to meet the day. Can't wake up. Yeah. Save me. Save me with delicious food right now. It's weird how little inf info there is about Contra online. <clears throat> well, is that it? Are we done? I mean, I feel short, like short way finale today. I feel like I want to find some more. I mean, granted, the show was only two episodes, and we already busted out all the big guns with oh, this delicious meal. Here's some trivia. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> what? Nothing. All I'm saying is that each bottle comes right with a, with a little trivia that you didn't know about. Right, right, a little fact. I'm not saying the uh, name of the company out of respect for copyright infringement. Ah, boy, it's delicious, company. But I will say, real fact number eight to nine: women's hearts typically beat faster than men's. I wonder why that is. Yeah. Maybe because we stress them out so much. That's probably true. Wow. How about this one? All right. Until 1901, the White House wasn't called the White House. The White House was called the Presidential Palace. Which I think is a much sillier name. <laughs> kind of. But also the White House is a pretty silly name. It's, just a, it's white, and it's like the house. <laughs> the White House. It's like, no mistaking which one it is. Which one is it? That's the White House. I think that was the intent behind it. It was like, oh, the White House! Yeah, the President's Palace seems... <laughs> God, <laughs> make way right. for Prince yeah. Ali! Exactly. exactly. Um, what else? How about this? Sure. The arcade version of Contra was released in February 1987. Just a few months after the Iran-Contra affair was made public. Uh, nobody knows whether or not the game was actually named after Contra Rebels, but the original ending theme of the game was called Sandinista, which are the, uh, the group that the Contra were fighting. Huh. Interesting. <sighs> Very interesting considering that the game is about fighting aliens in the far future. But, uh... I don't know. Guys, this has been Super Buff Boys 
Thank you for joining us for joining the us. buffest lunch of all time. And by buffest, we mean probably the worst we could have done. No way, that was so well, good. Worst in terms of, like, for our bodies. Guys, but, guys, don't be a fool. Don't do this every meal. Right. But every once in a while when you beat a game with your Treat good friend. Treat yo self. Under the public eye. It's worth it to just get together and have lunch and look up trivia. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, have a great afternoon. Have a great week. You know what? Go tell your parents. Thanks for having me. Hey. Thanks for having us, Pop. Tell them. The beer bros got your back. Like, we're also... Like, it's like mom and dad... And then the beard bros, like we're all your parents. You yeah, I mean? like like you know, we're a we're a nice supportive family. Equal credit. Equal credit. We raised you. Equal credit. We raised all you. Get all the real facts. All the real facts. Snapple.com. Snapple.com slash super beard bros. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. It's not a real website. Not a real website. But one day. Someday. It could be. Someday they'll find out. I told you it was the best it was the best fucking drink ever. It's a great drink. It's the drink of the gods. It's really a good drink. It's ambrosia, but it's not not the kind of ambrosia that old people eat. No, it's a good drink. It's like the drink of the gods. It's a great drink. Later, man.